if you're just getting started in Stranded Deep, then we are going to go through the five things that you need to build first. One, shelter. Two, the water steel. Three, the smoker. Four, small hut with a roof. And five, start your raft. And if you want to know why we're going to go into these and why you need to build these first, then stick around because we're going to go into this in this video. What's up ladies and gents, boys and girls, it is HG Dan here and as I have said we are going to go have a look at the first five things that you should build in Stranded Deep. Now this is my list, this is by no means what you have to do, there is a slight tutorial that you can probably see in the top left corner of the screen which will guide you through if this is your very first time playing but this, these things, these five things are the things that I like to get done as quickly as possible so first and foremost it is the shelter now the shelter is one of the first things that you need to build in the tutorial as well but it is also one of the most important buildings when you're starting out now the reason for this is because you can save here now saving in this game like any other game is a really important thing to do so that you don't lose all the progress that you've just done but it also has another feature of sleeping. Now the sleeping naturally, as you can imagine, is it passes time. So if it's getting dark or it's getting night and you're struggling to see, instead of just running around aimlessly, struggling through, treading on things that you probably don't want to be treaded on or getting bitten by stuff that you don't want to get bitten by, then this is the best thing to do. Just go to your shelter, sleep, and it won't be too long until it's morning again. Another golden tip that I'm going to give you here is build one on every island. Uh, they are that cheap in materials that we're going to go through in a second that you can go to an island and quickly throw one up, save it, and then you've got an up-to-date save on that island. And again, you can sleep if you're collecting materials on that island, etc. Now, what do you need to craft this? Super simple. You need five no, you need four fibrous leaves, uh, which will create your lashing. You'll then need four palm fronds or palm leaves, which you can get from chopping down one of the, the palm trees. Each uh, set of leaves at the top of the tree will give you five. Keep that fifth one for later on in this list. So you'll get four palm leaves and then all you need is three sticks. Now you'll easily find the three sticks just by walking around the island and that will help you or that will get you created on your shelter. Now as they are really easy you can build these on every island and I recommend you do so. So what is next on my list it is the water still. Number two the water still. Now fresh water is massive 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 you don't want to keep living off coconut milk because it upsets your stomach which dehydrates you even more and you only have a certain amount of rations that will help you oh. oh my god I met, I think that's, I think that's Darwin. <laughs> Just see what the water drain out of that, oh my god. Now there are fruit that can help with your hydration, but getting a water still up and running as soon as possible is probably the best thing you can do. Now it doesn't take a lot, it's really quite easy. Generally whenever you land on your starting island, you'll find two bits of cloth or two tarps. Um, which you both need for the stuff in this list, but that will enable you. They are the hardest things that you're gonna be have to find on this island, on your islands, to build a water still. So what do you need? You need a coconut flask. Well, that's a whole coconut and some lashing, uh, which, as I mentioned before, is four fibrous leaves. You'll then need one palm fronds, so that's the one left over from your shelter another lashing so it's two lashings in total 
uh, one tarp or cloth and then three stones which you'll easily be able to find around on your island. Again once you have that up and running you've got your fresh water and you'll be able to just get a drink. It is a constant um, going back to and making sure that you have fibrous leaves or palm fronds underneath it so that it is constantly creating water for you and this is another thing that you should build on each of your islands. Now the reason for this if you go to an island you're running out of water for whatever reason or you're dehydrated because you've been in the sun as you're sailing across then you'll be able to just get a quick drink as soon as you land and you'll be able to move on. Make sure to fill up on the palm fronds and fibrous leaves before you leave the island so when you do come back your water is sitting there waiting for you. So moving on to our number three, the smoker. Now I did cheat a little bit on this one and the reason for this is because you actually need a fire, a fire pit, and then you put your smoker on top of the fire pit. But all in all, all three of them you can get up, uh, get crafted and built really quickly and you'll be able to get your smoked meat now why would you want smoked meat well smoked meat will last much much longer than raw meat um, if you go and kill uh, a crab uh, a boar or something like that you don't and if you don't skin them they last for a long long time anyway but if you do skin them then the meat will spoil and it's no good to you I've not yet, after smoking my meat, I've not yet had it spoil on me. So I'm not sure if it's just a constant, it, it's never gonna spoil, or if it just takes a very long time. I've normally eaten it before getting to that stage. So what do you need to craft your smoker and campfire? So all you need is four sticks for the campfire, three stones for the fire pit, one cloth, one lashings and then another three sticks for the actual smoker so seven sticks in total uh, three stones uh, one bit of cloth um, and then just another little the, the, the campfire is another thing that you should probably put on the islands when you're traveling around they're super cheap four sticks that's like one log if you hit it with your axe uh, if you want to upgrade it to a smoker or fire pit as well that's up to you if you have the resources now moving on to our number four small hut with roof now all you need to build this is like four sticks and a hammer and that will enable you to build foundations walls roofs doorways all sorts of bits that you need for um, the hut but I can hear some people if they're a little bit more experienced they're like well why do you need that well what you need this for is actually to level primarily is to level up your crafting skills so you can start building your raft which is our number five on the list but it does also give another benefit if you're in a fully enclosed shelter it protects you from UV it stops you getting sunburn, it stops you from getting dehydrated and you can sit in there. If it's big enough, you can also do other bits and pieces in there that, you know, with shelter from the sun. So don't be afraid to start building large, uh, large-ish huts so that you can do stuff in, you know, under the cover of the hut. And it's also going to level up your crafting, which is the main thing that we do it. So moving on to number five, which is the last thing on our list, start building your raft. Now, once you have your crafting up to level three, you can start lashing together some tires, which can help create um, your floating part of the raft, your base of the raft. But once you hit crafting four, that's where you can use the barrels. And I've, so far, all of my playthroughs, I've had more barrels than anything else. Um, so make sure to sort of like keep crafting and get that up to level four so that you can use those barrels. Now you can mix barrels, buoys and tires all together to create a platform. Um, but I, I'm, that, that's just up to you. Depends what you get when you, when you start. So these are generally found in the wreckages that are scattered around your island you'll generally have some barrels on there all chained up so make sure to take a knife with you when you go out swimming um, sometimes there's a, a group of tires that are tied up on rope 
that you just need to slash at and they'll float to the surface and then you can yeet them all the way to the uh, to the island as uh, as you may have seen in a previous video make sure to go check that out um, and you can start building your raft now you can build your raft with planks or in corrugated iron or just sticks um, again if you want to get up and uh, sailing away onto the horizon to discover new islands as quickly as possible then sticks may be the way for you to go it's entirely up to you and it's all cosmetic at the end of the day it does the same function for you um, but why would you want to build a raft one it's cool Two, it's much quicker than paddling around on your uh, lifeboat. Um, you can get sails, you can get the rudders going, you can get um, motors eventually that can just all help get you from island to island much quicker and much faster. Uh, it's really quite easy to get a sail up and going. Um, once you've been to an island or two, with uh, whatever it is you've got there and just uh, kitting out this raft that's about it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that video if you did then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here and check out the new video on the screen over here hope to see you soon bye